Hi friends, doing a little late night editing for you. I've been in travel mode the last three days. We're now up towards uh, northern Arizona, the Sholo area. And uh, last week before we left, uh, the ranch down in Sonoida, Arizona, where my son lives, we went down to Patagonia, and I ran into some of those bug people that uh, have a passion for studying insects. And I ran into a guy who was looking for dung beetles. Um, I thought it was an interesting way to follow your passion, but uh, I'm going to let you be the judge of whether it was interesting or however else you might want to describe it. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Well, hello. I got my dog content. Hi. Hi there. A stone house. Love a stone house. Got some horses. And I got some bug people out here. They're digging through. With the, the horse manure the is that horse cow or bear <laughs> it's uh it's poop now i believe that's horse huh maybe cow though Could be cow. did you spread it out he did what are you looking for jesse dung finding, beetles finding them oh finding them is what i'm looking for let's oh, see what you got in there here dung beetles Oh, you push me in. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Right into the poop. Uh-huh. This reminds me of the movie uh, Jurassic Park. You know, where the lady is digging through the four-foot-high pile of Triceratops poop. And somebody says she's real persistent. Jesse was persistent, too. <laughs> And after that experience, Peter and I drove out a little farther along the same road and went to one of the most beautiful canyons in southern Arizona. And we just hiked along the creek for a ways. A little bit of hiking here in uh, Harshaw Canyon. <clears throat> Ooh, hear thunder. Looks like it's about ready to fall on me. Hmm. There's gold in them there hills. Not the kind of gold we need though.
So we took off about three days ago and uh, getting out of my parking place at the ranch is always difficult. It's uh, a lot of back and forth trying to get around the post and up and onto the road to take off. brakes squeak when you haven't driven it for about six months, but it lightens up after they get used a bit. This road we're on, I actually own this road. Um, it's five and a quarter acres next to my son's ranch. And it came up for sale last uh, winter, and I bought it just so nobody else would buy it and do something annoying next door to Peter. Um, it's not greatly valuable property. This is a easement, and there's a couple of other easements to the left, and uh, developing it would probably be a real pain, but uh, it's nice to own some big trees in Arizona. We're heading north out of Sonoida up towards Vail, and uh, then onto the freeway and through Tucson. That's the Empire Ranch and the Cienegas uh, Conservation Area, grasslands off to the right there. Traffic going into Tucson wasn't too bad today. We're 
We're heading up north of Tucson to Pacacho Peak State Park for the night. Hi friends. We left my son's house and we're headed north up towards Sholo area of Arizona. And tonight we've stopped at Pacacho Peak State Park. All systems are go with the motor home and the Jeep. Enjoying the sunset. We're finally getting up close and personal with some saguaros. Not too up close and personal. That could be an ouch. I walked to the bathroom last night and I saw a big tarantula and came back from my camera. And I could never find the tarantula, but I found some other interesting creatures of the night. Scorpions and beetles. Scorpions fluoresce under black light. This one was ready to fight. I'm not having it. So this big grasshopper is about three inches long, I think. And a bunch of these black beetles, they point their butt in the air and make a stink. Good morning, friends. We had a wonderful night's sleep here at Picacho Peak State Park. The last time we were in a campground was this one, a year ago on our way to our sons. And this year we're going north instead of south and up around Sholo to visit some friends. Uh, I'll have the uh, dash cam on today. I think it's a mountainous drive. Good morning, Lynn. Good morning, Jerry. How do you like Pacacho Peak? I love it. You like the vegetation here, right? Yes, I do. Yeah, it's, uh, this is a Palo Verde tree. We got the prettiest spot in the campground and the biggest cactus. Yeah, maybe. This down here is a creosote, another Palo Verde, and she's right, we got a big saguaro. She just came down for a minute looking for food. She who? The bird that's up in that nest. Oh, there's a nest? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. There is a bird nest there. I wonder if she built it on the shady side so she wouldn't be so hot in the nest. Well, I take a picture of you. Take a picture. No. Take a picture of what? The Jeep's towing fine. We have a path that goes to our fire pit, uh, I guess tent site maybe, our table, had a really good hot shower over there this morning, all is well. 50 amp power last night. First time I've been hooked up to power for a couple of years. After being blinded by the sun for an hour yesterday, coming through Phoenix, the sun in the west, me going north, I put that reflectix up there on the inside. See if that helps. One of these days, I gotta take this window out and take it apart and clean it and reseal it. They're double pane windows and that one's lost its vacuum. This one over here is just barely starting it right along that edge right there. Uh, I think there's companies that do that for you but I'll figure out how to do it. My big job this morning is going to be cleaning the windshield inside and out. Lynn's waving. Hey if you like me give me one of those thumbs up. Please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next.
Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.